guys, what's up? Mike Ruggirello back for another Theory Thursday. I thought today we could improve our A minor penta scale. Today's lesson is about uh, playing some blues, and I think most of us out there just enjoy and really comprehend the A minor penta scale. And of course, our second octave. Anyhow, a lot of us enjoy this scale. We bend here. We also bend here, and you know, aside from going into the intervals that we're bending to, I just want to keep it, uh, I think we've heard of KISS, keep it simple and stupid. So I'm just going to speak with, about shapes, I'll, you know, I may talk about the minor third and major third, that's actually the big part of the lesson today, guys. Uh, when we play the scale, our minor third is here, and what today's scale is about is using our major third. The locations of our major third, the first location, is very important. It's right in between both octaves of our scale. And where it is, is right there, your sixth fret G string. Now this is your minor third. This is your major third. We're simply just going to learn how to use this note while we're hearing a, uh, an A major chord or an A7. Both of those chords will support this idea. So I have a loop, just like you heard in the beginning of the video. And I'll prove it to you. Okay, so here's the major third. And just start slow. Take little bites. You can even mix it. See that? basic lick. So that being said, guys, aside with without the uh, chord behind us, I just want to prove to you that we have our scale. There's our new spot, because if you do the chord, eventually this will make some sense. When you're playing an A7 chord, the note that's right here is your major third. So as you try this and use that tonality, it really amplifies the chord and your style. This is how Stevie Ray Vaughan, this was one of his tricks that really gave him a, a burn in Texas blues sound. He would literally be winding it out on a minor penta. You know, sad. You know, also bending like this. Now that move is in the higher major third. You can do like this type of lick. And then if you even want to go all the way down, you can either land here or here. That will really, really become a giant sounding lick. Watch, I'll walk us through something slow to work towards. First major third, bring it back to minor. Second major third, descend. Little blues scale. Minor third, major third, and then, yeah. So that's pretty cool. I like playing that a lot. It's a lot of fun. Remember, this will not work under a minor chord. So whether you're playing the A major, or an A7. Rock and roll has taught us that the A minor penta sounds very good in that scale, or that chord. So that is the big part of the lesson today, guys. Just whatever we know how to do and say in our minor penta. You can also get away with some microtonal bends. Some of you are already doing this due to instinct. But without showing the major third, because that's literally um, vocabulary in like Texas blues or Chicago blues. There's four different types. Delta, whoever names the fourth one gets a free lesson. That's well, a microtonal bend. You can do it here on the minor third and also do it right here on the minor seven. You're not necessarily bending to this pitch, but listen, there's a lot of sound before it. And that is a very legitimate way of sounding bluesy. Here's an example. I'll do it with and without. 
here's without. Here's with. today's lesson pretty short but I hope it was fun if you have any questions you know what to do so get that major third sound down you won't regret it I'm Mike Ruggiero and I'll see you next week